Hey Abdul, this is going to be a video to review the lesson work so that you can keep moving forward until we can meet again. Um, so we're going to talk about what you should be reviewing and what we worked on was just the basic bow hold, getting our bow hold the best we can and placement of the instrument and working on that and bowing on the string and bowing on our shoulder. Okay, so to review that, let's talk about the bow. Right, so we have our fingers go on top, and usually the middle finger goes about at the end of the wrapping, right there. Um, and the other fingers just fall comfortably next to that. The first finger would end up on the wrapping, this bow grip wrapping part. Um, the pinky's usually somewhere near the frog's eye, if you have one of these circles right here. We call that the frog's eye, even though it doesn't look like a frog, but this is called the frog. So, we just lay the fingers on top, and we talked about the fact that the arm would be in an L. I'm trying to get used to where my camera angle is. <laughs> would be in an L, and so the wrist would be straight, and you just relax the hand on top of the bow. So we don't want our wrist like this or like this, okay? So you relax the hand on top of the bow, and then we would try to bend the pinky and put it on its tippy tip, okay? And then we help turn the bow up. I still don't have my thumb, and I'm gonna add my thumb on the inside. And it goes underneath the middle finger, okay? It does not go in here, this little cubby thing right here. It seems like a spot for your thumb, but it's not. So it's gonna go here, okay? So, we've got those fingers on top, we add the pinky, and then we add the thumb, okay? And we should be able to see relaxed fingers, flat knuckles. So if they're like this, we gotta relax down those knuckles so that that pinky has a curve in it. And it looks nice and round right here. And underneath, there's a curve and a bump in the thumb. So you end up with sort of a circle in the hand. So if it looks like this, it's too tight and the thumb needs to open up, okay? There we go. So it's nice and easy. These two fingers are further over the bow. This one is not as far over the bow because he's just a shorter finger. And the pinky's on his tippy tip. Okay, and if our fingers start to get a little cramped or we end up like this, then we shake it out and we start that process again, right? We put our fingers flat, put the pinky, turn up the bow, add the thumb gently, and then try to hold it straight up like a rocket because that's the easiest way to hold it, right? So then to bow on our shoulder, we would just put it on the shoulder and we can do the rhythms on the shoulder. Okay, so we'll talk about the rhythms in a second. Let's talk about the violin. Okay, so here's our bow. It's looking good. Now we're gonna get the violin. Okay, so ideally your violin would be close where you can just pick it up after you've got your bow grip, some way that you can easily grab it until you're used to grabbing the two of them together, which you will be. Okay, so we're gonna put the violin on the shoulder. We talked about how underneath, the shoulder rest curves with the shoulder, okay? I may have to put my bow down to show you this. Curves with the shoulder. So if it looks sort of like this, that's not quite great. Or maybe like this, that's not quite right. It's going to fit right onto the curve of your shoulder. So we're looking for that, okay? We're also looking that it comes into the neck and that you should be able to just rest your head down on the chin rest, which this is called a chin rest, but it doesn't, your chin doesn't actually go on it. So we don't want to turn our head and put the chin on it. So it's, a, we actually put more of the jaw on it. So you just sort of let it fall down and let the head just rest there. And our head is pretty heavy. So if you just really rest the head on the chin rest, on the shoulder, it'll really just hold that violin for you, okay? But don't get too brave letting go just yet, okay? We're still getting used to this and we don't want it to fall. 
kind of a just, you can try it, but keep your hands close, okay? And for you, we're doing our safety lock, right? So our safety lock is our hands this way with the thumb on the back, okay? And that's the easiest way for you to hold it, to bring it up and bring it into your shoulder. Okay, and do the best you can. And remember that the violin does not go at a 90 degree angle. So we don't want the violin to go straight out this way. It kind of seems like it does, but it, it actually doesn't. We want it to go a little bit more this way. And it's hard to show angles on the camera right now, so hopefully I can figure that out at some point. But it's going to go more over our toes, right? So our toes are comfortable hip width apart. And when you put that violin up, you're going to have your, your hand in line with your nose over top of your elbow, which should be over top of your left foot. So all of it lines up with our left foot. Okay, so the scroll to the elbow to the left foot, that should be a nice straight line down to our toes of our feet. Okay, and we're holding it that way. So it's a little bit forward. I'm having a hard time showing this angle really well on here. Oh, we got to figure out camera angles. Okay, so we've got our bow grip. Okay, and we're working on the violin placement. And you can easily just work on going from rest position back to play position. And just try that and go back to rest position, which is under the arm. And back to play and just practice getting it on your shoulder a few times, right? We're going to practice getting our bow grip a few times, shaking it out, get the bow grip, okay? And then when we're ready, we're going to add the rhythms, okay? So we can bow the rhythms on our shoulder or we can bow the rhythms on the instrument. And so if we're having any trouble bowing the rhythms, on our shoulder then we shouldn't try it on the instrument because it will be much harder so we're going to bow first on our shoulder the rhythms and when that feels good then we'll try it on the strings and right now we're only working on the a and the e string so let's start with the rhythms and then we'll add the bowing to the shoulder okay so i'm going to talk about the rhythms show them to you which is a little bit tricky on camera so hopefully i'll learn from this but um, we're going to talk about the rhythms. I'll show them to you and then I'm going to make a separate video with the me playing the actual rhythms that you can bow along with whether you do it on your shoulder or whether you do it on the open string. Okay, so I'm going to put this down. Okay, so just to go to this book so that you understood because you asked me you weren't sure about the rhythms. So I'm going to explain the rhythms to you a little bit. Okay, wait. So we're doing the twinkles, the basic, basic first song, which is a great first song. It's such an amazing, this is an amazing set of twinkles, even though they're twinkles. There is a lot of playing. If you can really play through all these twinkles at full speed, you're really doing a lot more than just playing twinkle. So it all starts with the theme song. Okay, so the theme song is the basic twinkle, twinkle, little. Star. So that's the first song that everybody knows that song. We know how to sing it. Um, sing it along. It helps. Okay. And so this is the first one that we can bow along with. And it's nice and easy to bow along with. Okay. Um, and then we take from that song. So it there's two, three parts to it. There's A, B, A. Okay. A, B, A. And so we take those and the notes for that, we have A, E, F sharp, E to begin with, okay? The beginning of the section A, all right? We take these same notes and we just change the rhythm. So the rhythm that we have here is ta, 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 to be, okay? So it's quarter notes, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's the basic. And if that doesn't make complete sense, just bear with it and we'll, we'll review more until it doesn't make sense, okay? 
Um, you don't have to fully understand that yet to play that, okay? You're gonna listen and you're gonna follow the arm, okay, and the ear. Then we go to the first, what we call variations. So we have, uh, which way am I looking? <gasps> Okay, so we have these variations, the twinkle variations, okay? Um, and this is where we really get more of a workout with our bow um, and eventually with our fingers, but to begin with, we're gonna work on the bow, okay? So we've got variation A, B, C, and on the next page we have two more, okay? We're gonna start with A, so this is one that we've done. And I'm calling it, just to make it easy for now, pepperoni pizza. Okay, so that's variation A. So we're going to take those same notes, A, E, F sharp, E, which you're not really playing those notes yet. That, that requires fingers to change notes. You're either going to be on the A string or on the E string. Okay, so you're picking a string. But for the purpose of why, how it's twinkle song is we take those same notes and we change the rhythm. So instead of it being ta, 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 a, a, e, e, it's going to be pepperoni pizza, pepperoni pizza, right? Pepperoni pizza, pepperoni pizza. And on each note, we're going to play pepperoni pizza. Okay? And we'll start slow and we'll build our speed as we get more comfortable with our bow arm. Okay? So that's the first variation. Now we're not doing B and C yet because those are a little trickier. I think they're easier to get after you've gotten these other three, okay? So I'm gonna turn the page. We're skipping B and C for now, okay? And then we're going to variation D and E, okay? So variation, let's talk about variation E, okay? Because it looks a little bit like variation A so here, we're going to call this, just for the sake of making it easy right now, pepperoni, pepperoni. Okay, so on each one of those notes again, A, E, F sharp, E, which you can't really do that yet. You're just staying on one string, but this is how the song works. Pepperoni, pe mm, sorry. Pepperoni, 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 pepperoni. Okay. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, pepperoni, 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 pepperoni. So we're gonna play through that. You would stay on one string. I'll do that in another video, you can play along. Okay, so that's variation E. Pepperoni, pepperoni, okay? Now for variation D, it's different, we have strawberry strawberry so again on the different notes you'd hear strawberry 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 one two three four five six or these are more known as triple it triple it triple t triple t triple t triple t they're triplets they're called triplets because there's three in a grouping so, and kids like to, and it's easy to sort of remember, strawberry, strawberry is a three syllable word. Okay, same thing with pepperoni is four syllable because it's a four grouping, okay? So those are the variations you're working on. You're working on the theme song. You're working on E, pepperoni, pepperoni. You're working on A, strawberry, strawberry. Ah, that's D, not A. Variation D is strawberry, strawberry. And, boy, I'm really not used to this camera thing right now. <laughs> You're working on A for pepperoni pizza, okay? So, and we'll get to all the complicated terms of what these rhythms are really called, but right now, you just wanna figure out how to move your bow. So let's move the bow, okay? So we're going to, I'm going to play through those variations for you and you can play along with that. Um, you can either do it on your shoulder or you can do it on the violin, 
I would start with the shoulder and then do violin, do both if you can. It definitely helps. The more you do this, the better it becomes. Eventually this starts to become automatic and that's what we want. So that you can start to concentrate on maybe adding some fingers. But if this is still difficult, then adding fingers will make this much harder. Okay, so we wanna take it slow and get our bow arm moving. So there's a lot of repetition and just back and forth, right? So we get that bow grip, okay? If we start on the shoulder, we're gonna put it on the shoulder where our violin would be, okay? And you're just gonna keep it pretty straight. And I'll bow some different ways. I'll just do an example, and then in a separate video, I'll play through it for you. I won't talk much, you can just play through and you can replay it as much as you want, okay? So, if I were to say, okay, we're gonna do the theme song, you would hear an introduction. Bum, wait, let me get a pitch. So you would hear bum, 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 twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are, up above the world so high. Right? And so we're just gonna bow along. Now I'm gonna play that on the violin and you'll bow that along. Or let's say I was doing pepperoni pizza, wait, pepperoni pizza, 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 pepperoni pizza. And you're just bowing that along, okay? So, or if I did strawberry, strawberry, you'd hear the introduction. Straw, strawberry, 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 strawberry. We keep going. And the goal is simply to be moving from the elbow, opening and closing. Strawberry, strawberry, and right in the middle of the bow where your tapes are. Strawberry, strawberry, okay? So, and then we have the other variations. So that's your goal. If you do it with the violin, then you get your bow grip, you get your violin, you got your safety lock, you get your position, and you rosin your bow again before you play because we wipe the rosin off on our shoulder with a cloth or without, and then we need more rosin, okay? So you would put some more rosin, which I'll do in between videos, okay? So if I were to play this for you, this would be introduction to the theme song. Now you would play on only the A string. I'll sing it, just, I'll try to sing it and see if you can do it. Twinkle. Switch to the E if you want to try that. I think we did that in lesson two. And our goal is to try to keep the bow next to the bridge. Okay, so we don't want to let it go this way. We're trying to stay parallel to the bridge as much as we can and to use open and close the elbow. Okay, so, or if we're doing, let's say, pepperoni pizza. towards our feet when we're on the E string. The bow goes almost straight up and down when we're on the E string. You're pulling down towards in between your two feet. Okay, that's where you're aiming for. But if you're on the A string, we're gonna seesaw the bow. And then this 
We still pull the bow parallel to the bridge as much as we can, but it's not gonna go straight down to our feet. It's sort of not straight across. It's a little bit down. It's still pointing down, but not as much as on the E string, okay? So when you go from the A to the E, you just seesaw. No lifting the bow off the string at all, unless you're taking it off to finish, okay? Or you're getting ready to start. Otherwise, if you're going from the A to the E, you just let the bow turn, just seesaw, okay? Okay, so that's a recap of everything you're working on. Um, I'm gonna stop it here, and I'm gonna start a new video, and I'm gonna play the theme song and the three variations. I'm gonna play them very slowly so that you can play along, whether bowing on the shoulder, playing on the A, or playing on the E. You could just pick one string and just stay on that for an entire variation. If you want to try to change notes, you could try going for section A, you could play on the A string. And for section B, you could play on the E string. And when we go back to section A, go back to the A string. So A, then to E, and back to A. But if that's too confusing, just stay on one string and you can switch it up. So you could say for the theme song, I'll do string A. And then for the next variation, I'll work on the E string and just stay on one string. Okay? And if then next time, hopefully, we can work on doing going back and forth and maybe adding the fingers, I hope. Okay? All right. So you can rewatch this as you want. The next video, hopefully, you could just play through with it as much as you want. Okay? And uh, I hope this helps.